Welcome back to the Next.js course. Today we're going to talk about the error handling features of Next.js. To handle errors in Next, we can create a specialty error.js file in a route. This file will wrap the route and all of its child routes in the React error boundary. In the file, you can specify user interface to display the error to the user. As mentioned, the file creates a React error boundary. The error component can also attempt a reset without the full page reload by re-rendering the child components covered by the error boundary. I have created a very simple bookstore app for the purposes of this example. To create an error boundary, create the error.js file in the route. It should export a React component and it accepts an object as a prop with error and reset properties. I will apply a wrapping class to my error component with some styles which I have prepared in advance. The error component should always be a React client component. My component will be quite simple. It will just output the error message and provide the user with a reset button. On click, this reset button will use the reset function provided as a prop by next. This reset function will attempt to re-render the child components to this route. This is frequently a good idea as many errors are caused by temporary outages. I have some sample routes in this bookstore application. I will throw an error in one of the components that is covered by the error boundary we just created. If I test now, you can see that my error component renders correctly as I throw my error. It shows the error message and provides me with a reset button. But the error is of course thrown every time. This reset button will just re-render the error boundary. It's worth mentioning again that this error boundary will catch errors in the route where it's created and all child routes of it. It will not, however, catch the errors in the layout and template of the route where it's created. These can be caught with an error boundary in the parent route. To catch errors in the app root, you can create an error.js file in the root. This file will not catch errors in the root layout and template though. You can use a specialty global error.js file for that purpose. It will essentially catch all errors in the application. If you have both a global error.js file and a root error.js file, the global error will rarely mount, as it will only catch errors in the layout and template of the root, which are usually very simple files. Your application should have at least one root error boundary for uncaught errors. In addition, I would recommend having multiple smaller error boundaries where it makes sense. If you have components that make network requests or execute complex algorithms that have a potential to throw an error, you should have an error boundary there to improve the user experience. Finally, both server-side and client-side exceptions will be routed to this error boundary, which is great because you can handle all types of exceptions regardless of rendering environment with a single component. This wraps today's rather short but important video. You now know how to implement error boundaries in Next.js. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the next video in the series is released. Take care.